Bobby, looking a little tired. You want a you want a Red Bull? Red Bull, really? We only drink Fizz Buzz in this place. Today, we're going to talk about is C Sharp dying? Before we begin, if you're just learning how to code, go to coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap. We give you the five essential steps that you need to break in as a software developer. That's coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap. There's a lot of confusion about C Sharp, especially among junior or, or devs trying to break into the industry. Um, when you hear the term C Sharp, sometimes you may confuse that with C or C++, and you're wondering, is that dying? Do people even use that anymore? And I want to just lay the groundwork about what C Sharp is. C Sharp is a general purpose language that's used on a lot of things, from web dev, desktops, and all phases of writing languages. It came out in 2002. So it's really not old. If you look at like Java, JavaScript, PHP, um, those Python, all of those are much older languages. Um, doesn't mean that C Sharp isn't mature though. It just means that um, it's actually a young uh, language in terms of the other ones out there that you think about. It's also a lot cooler than you probably think. So C Sharp isn't dying because it is built and maintained by Microsoft. And Microsoft has a large investment into making sure C Sharp is the predominant language used today. So they spent you know, $2 billion in marketing and trying to get developers onto this new platform. Um, it's also based inside the .NET framework. So if you know that, the .NET framework is extremely popular among a lot of devs. So if you looked right now and you said, well, if C Sharp died, well, if it was, there wouldn't be 14,000 openings in the US right now. And if you looked at junior devs, and this is what's really important, if you look at junior dev opens across the US, it's 2,900 today as I'm recording this. That's today. That's not how many openings that's gonna be for the rest of the year. It'll be several times that for the year. But today, 2,900 openings for junior devs. Now you compare that to Ruby, to JavaScript only, to PHP, it, it dwarfs all of those. So C Sharp gives you the amount of jobs that you're looking for to break in. And if there's more openings, that means there's more opportunities for you to present your skills and get that first job as a software dev. But let's go into a little bit more deeper. What else could we do with C Sharp and why is it so popular? C Sharp being a general purpose language, I can build web, full stack web development um, with C Sharp. So that means that I can use design patterns like MVC or something that Microsoft has now is called Razor Pages. Um, so those are ways that I can build full stack web applications with C Sharp. I also can use C Sharp to build desktop applications like for Windows or even now Mac OS. And I can use a couple of things there. I can use WinForms, I can use something called WPF with C Sharp. I also can use C Sharp with something like Xamarin. And so Xamarin allows me using C Sharp language to build mobile applications. That, and those are cross-platform mobile applications, which means I compile once and it goes to Android and iOS. And I also can use C Sharp to build games. If you don't know this, the Unity game engine also has its backend language written in C Sharp, and it's by far the most popular game engine for indie developers. Now, if you go to the AAA titles, they have their own game engine, they're using other game engines, but if you're trying to learn your craft, you're gonna launch your own game, Unity's pretty much the way to go, and you're gonna have to learn C Sharp to do that. So it's got you covered on enterprise desktop dev, enterprise web dev, and if you wanna build games, and also if you wanna build things like HoloLens, AR and VR experiences, Microsoft has you covered there as well with something like the HoloLens, which is probably the most sophisticated AR device out there today. Um, and so all of those things are, have you well positioned to do any type of thing you want to. And guess what? You also can do integrations, which is web services or web API, or these, these endpoints that you see where people consume data or consume services. A lot of those are also written with C Sharp and it allows you to build interconnected services or microservices or things like that. So it, it's very well-versed and very generalized in the amount of things that you can do. And when you say, can I do that with Ruby or can I do that with PHP? The answer is, yeah, maybe and maybe not. But for C Sharp, it's covered all platforms, all things, and in all places. And that makes you super valuable and marketable in the marketplace. So let's talk about the other term 
that has a lot of aspiring developers confused, and that term is the enterprise. Now, the enterprise isn't the spaceship in Star Trek. What we're talking about is large established businesses that generate millions upon millions of dollars in revenue, and they're hiring developers in droves because, as you're probably well aware of, is that IT is really driving all of business forward. So whether you're talking about um, a big bank or um, infrastructure provider or something like that, all of these people are running their businesses on .NET. Now the enterprise is a word that you may think, well, that's not cool or it's not like sophisticated or it's kind of boring. And it's completely the opposite of that. These types of companies are doing cutting edge things at scale at scale multiple times and things that you use every day are built upon C Sharp and .NET. And so that means that there's way more opportunities for you if you know it. Now, when we started our bootcamp, we also were looking at things that I was doing as well. And that's what drove our decision to teach C Sharp at Coder Foundry. Because I also run a consultancy and companies would call in and ask us to build something or maintain it or fix it. And all of that work is in .NET and C Sharp as well as the startup that I founded. Um, we built a fraud product and we built that in C Sharp as well. And so like, I'm very familiar with not only the demand of C Sharp, but also the power of the frameworks and the things and types of things you can build with it. It positions you extremely well for the future when you graduate from a bootcamp with C Sharp. In fact, Course Report four years ago surveyed bootcamps and they found out that people that graduated a bootcamp with C Sharp skills were hired way faster than other graduates with other skills. But that was four years ago. Well, they also did the study last year and they found out, guess what? C Sharp again was hired way faster than any other bootcamp graduates with similar skills. In fact, C Sharp was that common denominator to getting you hired. And if we look back what I talked about earlier, we look at the number of jobs that are open, specifically junior jobs, 2,900 junior jobs today across the US and you're graduating from a bootcamp of 20, you've got a really good shot at getting one of those positions because your skills line up with what they're looking for. And that's the secret to Coder Foundry and why the people coming to our bootcamp get hired is because C Sharp lines up with what developers or what dev managers and, and businesses want. And if you have what they want, they're more likely to hire you. So you may ask yourself, is C Sharp dying? Absolutely not. In fact, it's growing at an exponential rate. C Sharp is being pushed into platforms, all platforms, and that could be on the desktop, in the web, into future tech like AR, into games, into everywhere, into services, everywhere. C Sharp is being pushed into everywhere because it's backed by one of the largest corporations on the face of the planet. And so you should learn C Sharp because it gives you the best opportunity to break in and it keeps you employed as you move out through your career in the future. So I hope this helps and good luck and keep coding.